this leafy temple, that all within the grove be reverent before him. Lift up your heads, O ye trees, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting spires. For behold, here is Bohemia's shrine, and holy are the pillars of this house. Bohemians, with the ripple of waters, song of birds, such music as inspires the sinking soul, do we invite you into midsummer's joy. The sky above is blue, the soul with stars, the forest floor is heaped with fragrant bridge. The evening's cool kiss is yours. The campfires glow. Birth of rosy fingered dawn. Shake off your sorrows with the city's dust and cast to the winds and the cares of life. Let memory bring back the well loved names of gallant friends who knew and loved this world. Dear boon companions of the long ago, I let them join us in this ritual. Not a place be empty in our midst. Oh, beauty vassals, who hold in this gray autumn of the world her springtime in your heart, attend our tale. Gather ye forest folk, and cast your spell over these mortals. Touch their world-blind eyes with fairy unknown. Open their eyes and follow the memories of yesterday and seal the gates of sorrow. It is a dream, and yet not all a dream. Dull care and all of his works are but a dream. As vanished Babylon and goodly Tyre, so shall they also vanish. But the wilding rose blows on the broken battlements of Tyre, and walks rend the stones of Babylon. For beauty is eternal, and we bow to beauty everlasting. For lasting happiness, return to one alone, and she surrounds you now. Great nature, refuge of the weary heart, and only balm for breasts that have been bruised. She has cool hands for every favorite brow, and gentlest silence for the troubled soul. Apostles are most wise. She healeth well, having such ministries as calm and sleep. She is ever faithful. Other friends may fail, but seek ye her in any quiet place. Smiling, she will rise and give to you her kiss. So must she come as children. Little children that believe nor ever doubt her beauty and her faith, nor deem her tenderness can change or die. Yonder, from the funeral pyre, to the joy. 
joyous piping of a funeral march. Our funeral fire awaits the corpse of care. There we go. Here you have the boatman, his face painted up like a skull, bringing the bound body across the water. Again, we'll have enhanced video of this later. And uh, let's see if you can pick up all of the different occultic meanings uh, in the speeches you're about to hear. shadowy tide and all the ancient majesty of death no arch enemy of you not for thee the tension tribute or the restful grave fire shall have its will of thee and all the winds make merry with thy dust bring fire <laughs> against thee, and some thou shalt destroy. But this too we know, year after year within this happy grove, our fellowship bans thee for a space, and thy malevolence which would pursue us here has lost its power under these friendly trees. So shall we burn thee once again this night, and Flames that eat thine effigy, we shall read the sign Midsummer sets us free. He shall burn me once again. <laughs> now, now with these flames, which hither ye have brought from regions where I reign, ye fools and priests, I spit upon your fire. Wow. Prince of all mortal wisdom, thou of Bohemia, we beseech thee, grant us thy counsel 